Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through Reframe from Red Giant Universe 3.2. Reframe is essentially a picture-in-picture -picture utility. And if you've been a Universe user for a while, you might have noticed that we already have a picture-in-picture -picture utility. Now, there were a number of changes we wanted to make as well as some feature requests from customers. And the changes were significant enough that we'd break backwards compatibility with how the plugin fundamentally worked. So we decided to move forward and make a brand new one. So when I apply Universe Reframe to this clip right here, we'll see that it pops up into the corner and becomes sort of this picture-in-picture -picture effect. The controls are very straightforward transformation controls that work in 3D. We have a scale and rotation controls, and we have a checkbox to maintain proportions in X and Y, which I recommend you generally keep on. Now, all of these values, as well as some of the other stuff that I'll show you, these can be values that we animate to and from. This was a popular feature request to be able to start full frame and have it animate to its picture and picture position. Now we can manually do this simply by animating the completion from 0 to 100. And if you want this to change or animate over time, you can simply keyframe this. Now, if you'd like to have this be automatic, we can simply go to the animation timing and set this to automatic. In the animation section here, I can dial in the timing for the animation that I'd like to see. So right now I have intro animation checked and it will start, let's say four seconds in and the duration is one second. So it'll take one second to animate from full frame to its picture in picture location. So if I go back to the start, hit play, and this will play for four seconds, and then right at four seconds, you'll see that it will fly to its picture-in-picture -picture location automatically. Now, being that I have the outro animation not checked, it's simply gonna sit there indefinitely. Now, if I'd like it to animate back out, I can simply check the outro animation and, and dial in the timing that I'd want right there. Now, what I want you to notice is that it's starting with its original aspect ratio when it's full frame, and then as it flies in, by default, it's actually kind of cropping the video a bit. It's actually cropping at 50%. And if I go into the crop and feather section, you'll see right here, the crop is set to 50. So this is 50% of its original aspect ratio. So if I turn this up or down, we will reveal more or less of that source video. But it'll always start full frame and animate to that value. There's a feather control right here. So if I turn this up, it'll feather it from the bottom. And if I set to a negative value, it will reverse and go from the top. And I can also flip this around so that the feathering is in the vertical direction. Generally, I find myself using the crop more than anything but using a feather is something that's commonly found often in news production. Lastly, we have the border control. So if I turn this up, we'll see that we can actually draw a gradient stroke around the frame, or I can leave this as a solid. So being that this effect is kind of standalone, so the effect isn't compositing the video against something else within one layer. This leaves us to add other effects such as drop shadows or glows. So let me show you what those would look like. If I go in here and we pull a drop shadow effect and I'll drop this right on my clip. Now this is actually a 4K video clip. So with the drop shadow measuring in pixel distance, I'll need to turn this distance up quite a bit and probably for this to be visible in video, I'll have to turn up the opacity and softness quite a bit. But there you have it. Simple drop shadow effect added right on top of our reframe. And it's moving really snappy even at 4K. Lastly, like any other effect that we have in Universe, there are a number of presets preloaded. With this kind of effect, there aren't a whole lot of variations that we can do in terms of what we can encapsulate in an effect. But if I apply one of these, you can see that now I've got this in the lower right, or perhaps I want in the upper right, and we've got the preset right there. You can always save your own presets if you have something custom that you want to do. Customize the angle and position and scaling. 
perhaps you want to make it a little bigger. And we go and save this. And this will show up in your dashboard under your custom effects or your preset browser if your host app doesn't support the dashboard. So that is Reframe from Red Giant Universe. My name is Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.